Let's take a look at some cut characters in Aliens vs. Predator 2. The game did ship with skins or NPC models for these characters, but I needed to reassemble them in order to get them to appear within the game. So, I'll show you what I think these characters would have looked like in the final game. I have also composed my own scenes to feature them. Number 1. Exoface. The Exosuit Operator. This character doesn't make a single appearance within the game. Only his face appears in the game's files, no body textures or obvious character models. He appears to be some kind of default NPC for the Exosuit. Roger. I think he would have been either an Iron Bear or a Colonial Marine. Exoface wears the same logo that is seen on the Exosuit's concept sketches for Monolith, the game's developers. His face bears a striking clone-like resemblance to the combat synthetics in AVP2. Exoface fits the character model for Chekhov, one of the Iron Bears. The Colonial Marine Sadar Gunner also bears a striking resemblance with the Exosuit Operator. Alright, so I guess it's not 100% true that he doesn't make an appearance in the game. In the final showdown with General Rykov, the exosuit operator's face is textured all over Rykov's rocket launcher. It's easy to glaze over, but you can see something is off in the final scene of the Predator campaign, if you know what to look for. Number two, the lab tech auditor. This character's full skins shipped with the game even though he never makes an appearance. His skins are a perfect fit for the male lab tech character model, which is a commonly seen character in the colony and the pods. I can imagine that he was a person sent by the Wayland yutani committee to investigate concerns with Eisenberg and his operation on LV-1201. This is alluded to in the first mission of the Alien Campaign. 
an auditor's report, which was also cut from the game, mentions a heated exchange with Eisenberg. This report would have appeared on a game story object like a PDA or a computer. He wears an unusual logo on his uniform. I have been sent by the committee. They want answers and I am looking for those answers. The committee hasn't seen any substantial TPS reports on the commercially applicable medical procedures, which are frequently reported in your quarterly goals for the past three years is progressing. I will be checking every research data bank and I will be reading corporate emails and will be analyzing the transmission logs. You are all required to answer my questions. If there is so much of anything that is outside of policy and procedures, it will not look good for the facilities here on LV-1201, as they are laid here by the appointed, Dr. Eisenberg. The relationship between the Whale and Utani facilities and the life forms here on LV-1201 will be evaluated against universal ethical standards. Of course, I am talking about the ethical standards that have been approved by the Whale and Utani Committee. What gave you the idea Eisenberg cares about ethics? You know that archaeological team the Marines are going to rescue? I admit I don't know everyone in the pods, but some of the names on his list seem kind of suspicious. One in particular. Number 3. Pre-Alpha Scientist This character was seen in early images of AVP2, although he never appeared in the final game. The character model and skin is strikingly similar to the final game scientist NPC character except for the uniform and mustache. One piece of this character that did make it into the final game is the uniform. It appears as a prop in campaign missions like unwelcome guests. Unfortunately, applying the skin of this prop does not fit the final game's scientist character model. Number 4. Mr. Nutty Mr. Nutty is the name of a cut marine character, named after the files for his skins and model. He wears armor similar to Duke. His skins and model both appear within the game's files, although neither are hooked up in the game's available characters. The first noticeable feature is that he appears beaten up with the lacerations and a shiner. He may have been intended to be Decker who was a marine that was badly burned in a xenomorph ambush. One theory about Decker is that he was taken back to the pods where Dr. Eisenberg used him for experiments. Existence is pain. Hey. Decker is really badly burned. If we don't get off this planet soon, we're all going to... die. Mulder is dead. Quaid was taken. And now Carter lies here. Dead. We couldn't get to him in time. And for that, he died alone. On this godforsaken planet. I 
can buy you enough time to get Alice operational. So, you better move your ass. And don't you worry about reaching my family. I don't have one. Number five, the guard survivor leader. Well, Mr. Nutty does actually appear in the available character roster for the final game. The guard survivor leader uses Mr. Nutty's face. But even then, this character, the guard survivor leader, he never makes an appearance in the final game. This generic NPC character could have fit many scenarios in the AVP2 story. He simply seems to have survived some attack or some onslaught. It's not a bug. A xenomorph, is it? 